Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2009 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG. It's grey in colour with black leather interior and I must say it really is a very good example of the C63. It's only travelled 83,000 kilometres since it was brand new and it has an excellent service history. The engine sounds silky smooth. We will start it up. Uh, this car came from Canberra. It's been serviced at a very good Mercedes-Benz specialist in Canberra. So it starts well, there's no rattles or anything from the engine. The air conditioning is ice cold. The navigation obviously works perfectly. It has Bluetooth and heated seats. If you look at the fuel consumption, it's 12.8 litres per 100 kilometres on average. Gosh, I'd be surprised if there was another C63 in existence with a fuel consumption like that. But it's obviously done a lot of motorway driving. The seats are in particularly good condition. If you're looking for a C63, you've probably seen other cars and you've looked at the driver's seat and thought, oh gosh, who's been getting in and out of that? Uh, but this isn't one of those cars. It does have the two original remote keys. We've just washed it with soap and water. It was traded yesterday. Um, it's got your standard features, obviously, like Xenon headlights, memory electric seats, Harman Kardon sound system. It has a sunroof. The back seat barely looks like it's been sat in before. But it's just a very nice, tidy example. In fact, it's probably one of the best C63s I've seen in a very long time. Opening the boot, it's just very tidy throughout. It's got a nice big battery. Um, you can fold down the back seats if you need to. It's been owned by a very fussy person. It's got parking sensors front and back. Again, that's obviously standard. But I think what what's the most important thing when buying C63 is not having... In fact, it's got dual zone air conditioning or switches in the back for your air con. It really comes down to the mechanical integrity of the particular car. And this car being serviced by a Mercedes-Benz dealership up until around 60,000 kilometres from memory and then serviced at a very good specialist in Canberra um, who's been using the correct oils. I think that's what makes this car particularly good. Not only the very good condition inside and out but the service history and the other thing is it's done 80,000 kilometers so whoever buys this car moving forward you can look after you can service it every 5,000 or 10,000 you can make sure you use correct oil and it's sort of up to you as to what this car is going to be like when it's done 100, 120, 150, 200,000 kilometers whereas if you bought one with 150,000 kilometers and it might not have been as well looked after as this car it's too late you can't go back in time and service it on time, use the correct grade of oil and all those things. So I think you're best to spend a little bit extra and buy a low kilometre vehicle like this one in great condition. Uh, it's got the standard wheels on it, hasn't had big, you know, huge wheels put on it, which has affected the suspension, like 19s or 20s. The gearbox nice and smooth. You can generally tell with these 63s when upon startup, they either have a bit of a rattle or they don't. This one's silky smooth when you start it, and when it's running, it sounds very good as well. But if you have been looking for a Mercedes C63, come and have a look at this car. You're certainly not going to be disappointed. It's a very good example indeed, and we can help you with finance. We can send the car to any state in Australia. And I'd certainly welcome the opportunity to take it for a test drive if you're genuinely interested in buying this very nice example. 
thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We're only moments from the airport. You've probably heard a plane or two fly over as we speak. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks for watching.